Hi, good morning, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for joining me once again on an absolutely beautiful Sunday morning in Ayrshire. It is a tropical minus one degrees. Uh, the sun is shining, there's not a cloud in the sky. There's a little bit of frost in the ground, as you can see. Uh, but the digging should be okay uh, Well let's hope so anyway uh, So it's myself And I've got the, the trusty XP Days 2 And Andy's just over there I don't know why you can see the van there He's with me today uh, So yeah um, Now I'm back down on the Georgian field uh, That I found the, the silver spoon on And the little Robert the Third Hammered coin uh, A good few months ago now uh, so this field always produces lots of lots of coins, uh, a lot of coppers, uh, and the odd silver as well, and a few uh, nice artifacts. It also produces a lot of lead, so I'll be expecting that today. Uh, so yep, um, going to get on. We've got about three four hours to do today. Uh, so wish us luck, and we'll see you on the first hole. This is the first semi decent signal. This sounds a bit dodgy. I'm going to dig it anyway. Uh, it's jumping that's going from, well, 0 9. So 9 in the VDI up to about 70 odd. So there's a chance it's a bit of iron. <clears throat> but you never know. No, we're out. It sounds, it sounds about the same, to be honest. I'll let you hear it actually. Let's turn the speaker. Okay. Can you hear it? Sounds a bit, a bit rubbish. So let's see what we've got here. So we're in this, in this cloud right here. I'm thinking it's probably. We. Uh, just about there. Yeah. That's it. Where are you? Where have you been? That's it. That's it there. This is what we've got. So it's not complete rubbish. I've had, I think it's some sort of rivet or so. Is it the bottom of a... What do you think? Immediately you'll think Shotgun cartridge, but it's it's not It's like a stud type thing It doesn't look very old Some sort of material around here, maybe a bit of leather from what it was What it was through Yeah not complete junk, but not great either. So, on we go to the next. Well, I've been going about half an hour. No, tell a lie, it was about 20 minutes. And he's over there. If you can see him. He's over there. He's actually filming today. Um, he's going to give the whole YouTube thing a, a go. Uh, but he's going to try anyway. So, uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully he enjoys it. Now, uh, I've dug... A little bit of bronze over there, just a bit of, uh, just a blob and a uh, bit of scrap aluminium over there and this little one that I've got down here um, it was coming in at about a 55, 56, so it was a bit scratchy didn't sound, sound that great I've just popped the plug and it's silver and it's round and it's very thin I'm not actually joking uh, so I'll spin you around, I've, I've spotted it but I've not lifted it <clears throat> so, there it's there. Now, I could be totally wrong. This could just be a bit of junk. But, let's have a look. Now, I'm going to pop you back in my harness so that you can, so I can balance and check it properly. I forgot. I think it might be. I think it might just be a bit of lead. Damn. It's a bag seal. 
Oh, I was going there. I could see it. it was I couldn't see how thick it was really. I could just see, you know, silver and round. And I thought maybe small hammer did they come in that? But oh god, oh well, that's a little bit embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, anyway, still not a bad little find. A little bag seal. So on we go to the next. <laughs> All right, definitely the best signal of the day so far. Nice and crisp. Just like the frost. 73, 74. And it should just be round about here. Front of the front of the coil. If you're doing the, the wiggle method. Still in a hole, so that's good, it's not hopefully it's not junk. We're out, we're out, we're out, we're out. Okay. Come on, be something good. It's difficult to see anything with the sun being so bright. Something gold, just there. Is that a button? It's a a little gold or a gilted button. I'm not going to rub it because it will probably take off all the all the gold. But that is a lovely. It's probably military. Oh yeah, there we go. So it's got the anchor on it. So it's from the navy. Uh, quite small, quite a small button. So possibly cuff link. You know, a cuff button type thing. Yeah, that's excellent. Always nice to see a, a little glint of, I don't know whether that's coming out at all on the, on the camera. I'm trying to get it in the sun. We'll take a better picture of it anyway, uh, anyway and I'll put it on the screen for you just now. If I can get it to stay still. There we go. This is a nice little signal actually, uh, it's only a 58, so the numbers are not high but, you know, it's got that kind of sound and feel about it that it's something round, so I'm thinking maybe a little button, uh, that little button I got just about five minutes ago, the little gold gilt one is lovely. Uh, I know it's, I know it's not gold gold, but it's always nice to see that little glint coming out. No, we're out. So maybe not sounding quite as good. We're not sounding quite as good now that it's out. Where are we? In here. Yeah, somewhere. Like we're in this in this pile. So let's have a better look. Make sure we don't drop. In here. So it's in here. That's whatever that is. Hmm. Well, it's. Uh, I think this is a shotgun. End of a shotgun. Something along those lines. Yeah, I would say so. It's got that's got that look about it. The fire and pin in the centre there. A little rub. That's covered in muck. Uh, but yep, yeah, there we go. Probably a little bit of shotgun cartridge. I like the sound of this one. sounds at times close to the surface it's an 83 84 all the way around let's find out those kind of numbers I don't know maybe a little half penny but loads of coppers loads of coppers Victorian Georgian uh, slightly more modern than that as well uh, 
Close. We are close to whatever it is. <coughs> I don't know whether I'm moving it, I'm just not. Oh, it's a coin! It's a coin. Can you see it just there? Um, I think it might be a half penny. It's the right size. Let's get you into the sunlight. Again, caked in muck. I don't want to rub it too much. I don't maybe lose some of the, the any detail that's left on it. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing anything immediately that's helping to identify it. As in my eyesight's not the best at times anyway. So what we'll do is I'll let it dry out for a minute. And I'll try and get some pictures of it and get an ID. Okay, so first coin of the day. Fantastic, about time. Well, I've just had this little bag seal come up. I think there's a little bit of detail on it. I don't know, what is that? A letter P? You can see that there. I'm actually not sure what that is. Oh. oh good. I think that'll be one for the microscope. Con cork, oh good. No, don't know. That's one to, to search later on. Nice though, it's a for unusual shape. Kind of domed in that side. There's writing on it, so I should be able to get a either a place or a manufacturer, something along those lines. Yeah, it looks like a cube, but I don't know. Nah, unsure. Don't know. Ah, that's good. I'll, I'll check that out later on. Well, I've been going about... Oh, about 20 minutes. And I've not had a signal. I've actually stopped. Had a bite to eat. I've come round to a little bit of the field. A kind of... Quieter bit. And this is the first decent signal. It is a 84, 85, pretty consistent, repeatable. I don't know if there's a hint of <coughs> a hint of big iron about it. Though I don't know. I guess there's only one way to find out, as always. We are out. Sounds pretty good. Um Nice and sharp. Coin like. Where is it? Oh, I can see it. It's not. It's not a coin, but it's something equally as nice. I will zoom you in. Where are we? Right there. Right there. I don't know if that's coming out. Oh, look at that. That's a. That's a cracker. It's a big mini ball bullet. Three ringer. I'll zoom you back out a little bit. That's that's a great find. That actually brilliant. I don't know. I don't think it's hit anything. It's nice and clean. There's only one. One sort of gouge in it, but that could be from the plough. Just generally rolling about in the field. Brilliant. I'm delighted with that. Absolutely delighted. On we go, on to the next. I know you 
towards your friend, you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah. Now I've just got a wee catch up with Andy here and he's come over and he's managed to get some silver and he's having a good day, he's actually having a better day than me a couple of coins and uh, so what's he got here, it's a 19, 1885 Victoria 3 pence, very nice and uh, maybe if you can dig it out, show me a little clay pipe Andy I'll give you that back a little eyes only Look at this, look how nice that is. It's got like a, a little thatch. Thatch design on it. And a little leaf on either side. If anybody knows what that is, uh, or you know a maker or anything, let us know, because that's quite unusual. I don't think I've seen one like that before. I'll leave some comments. Excellent. Well done Andy, he's beaten me. He's beating me. Anyway, on we go. There we are. A tiny little watch winder. It's right on the surface as well. Pretty small. It's quite hard to find actually. And amongst the, the goo and the grass and the ice. Yeah, happy with that. Another little surface find. Um, it's a little Victoria half a penny, uh, no chance of getting the date, the sides are all crumbling away uh, and that's it, that's my second coin of the day uh, I don't know what, I don't know how Andy's got on his bit behind me but the last time I spoke to you was about an hour ago and uh, there's not much been happening, I have had a, a load of lead little small mashed up bits of lead uh, look like waste material. I did say this field has a lot of lead in it, but I've been getting quite a bit today, which is quite, this is quite annoying. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna we're heading back up to the van now, which should take us about 45 minutes to get back there. Um, uh, so hopefully, uh, well, I've returned onto the sort of bigger, bigger part of the field. So I'm hoping that I can get a get a few decent. I viewed decent uh, signals before we before we pack up for the day, so we'll see you on the next hole. Harmonica reed, probably one of the bigger ones that I've found. Normally you get them, and it's just a little section you get, but that's uh, that's not too bad. Yeah, again, not complete junk, a little bit of history. Yeah, I'll give it another 10 15 minutes, and then we'll head up the road. Sun's going down. It's beautiful, uh, but it's getting very, very cold. Um, so yeah, and I'm getting hungry. So we'll get down the road and get a bite to eat as well, and then relax for the rest, the rest of the night. A very nice sounding 76, 77. Come on, let's finish the day on a high. In there, we'll take a couple, a couple more spadefuls out, and then we'll get in with the pinpointer. Not yet. Maybe I'm missing it. One more. Oops, it is his. Yeah, I'm out. Come on, let me see. Hopefully something silver. Hopefully something silver. I'll take copper, take a coin. Oh no, it's silver. But it's not a good silver. It's a bloody bottle top. Oh dear. Oh god. 
Anyway, we'll keep going, never give up. Well, that's us. The sun is setting on another day's metal detecting. Um, not a bad day. Uh, Andy, had a, Andy had a good day today. Um, he got a little silver three pence, Victoria. Uh, and that lovely clay pipe bowl. Uh, I, think he, I think he got five copper coins. Uh, ended up with three in the end. Uh, little watch winder. The gold gilt button, the and the three ring bullet, which and the gold scope, one of them as well. Um, so yeah, that's a bit disappointed that I never got silver, but um, you know uh, it's early in the year, so silver count is zero so far. Um, we'll uh, we'll try and remedy that pretty soon anyway. So yeah, we're going to get down the road, get a bite to eat, see the boys. Um, and um, we'll, we'll relax, get a bit of dinner. Uh, so if you have enjoyed um, what you have you have seen today, uh, give the, the channel a thumbs up, maybe a little subscribe as well. And uh, if you want to see more of this, uh, watch these little videos here. And you'll get to see my face and me finding more rubbish. And sometimes odd silver as well. So uh, thank you for watching and we will see you next time.